Thank you. Good morning and w welcome. Chairman McCaffrey and the Judiciary Committee, I thank you for hearing my testimony today and being awake at this ungodly hour of the morning. Um, for that reason, I won't try and articulate in our uh, uh, testimony. I will save you the reading of my written testimony. Um, before I start, I'd like to say that yesterday was my younger sister's 12th birthday. I don't care if she is attracted to boys or to girls. As far as I'm concerned, the only thing I want her to be attracted to right now is her homework. But no matter who she's attracted to, I want her to grow up in a, in, a, in a world where she can marry whoever she wants because that's who she loves. And so with that, I'd like to give you my testimony. My name is Samson Hampton, and I am a 21-year-old Providence resident. I'm a, a constituent of Senator Golden's district. I'm testifying in support of Senate Bill 38. I'm a college student, a registered and active voter, as well as a taxpayer. I work hard at school, give back to my community, and I think that I'm a worthwhile human being. In April of 2009, I moved to Providence from Connecticut. The day after I moved to Providence, I found a youth drop-in center. The first day I was there, I met a person who had changed my life forever. When I met this person, they were climbing a tree. The sunlight came through the branches and as if it was the powers that be were giving me a direct sign. That was the day I fell in love with the love of my life. Flash forward to today, we now live together, know each other inside and out, and we'll finish each other's thoughts. We call each other out on our faults, encourage each other to pursue our dreams, and value our individuality while harmoniously balancing each other out. They are my yin to my yang. And we often say to each other that we love each other to infinity and beyond. We are young, but very much in love. On December 23, 2011, at my family Christmas party, I popped out of a box and proposed to the love of my life. I did this not because I had to prove to the world our love, but because I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with this person. I knew that we needed to the protection that marriage provides. I needed to know that when one of us was in the hospital, that the other would be by our side. That we would have health insurance benefits, our children would be, to, would be protected, and the, the other 1,100 plus rights that marriage provides. However, we will not get married until there is marriage equality. Why? Well, because a lot of our friends, our family, teachers, clergy people, and community members who are in the LGBT community who don't have the protections can't get married either. Whether we are legally able to marry comes down to one thing and one thing only, our biological sex. I am transgender. I was born a female and I have transitioned to male. I am a man who is in love with a woman. My partner is also transgender as well. And in exactly three weeks from yesterday, I will be having surgery that will allow me to confirm all of my documentation to state that I am male. So when we go to, when we go to get our marriage license, both of our documentation will say that we are male. The logistics aside, that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is that we are in love and that our gender doesn't matter. I will wait until the day that I die to marry the woman I love if I have to. However, my wife has a 91-year-old great-grandmother who cannot. We call her nanny. We want for one simple thing. We would like a wedding where I, the groom, can marry my bride, and we can have our nanny to dance at our wedding. I urge you to pass this bill, not for me, not for my future wife, but for our nanny to dance at our wedding. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments for this witness? Thank you.